Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. Now, Misa went into full mama bear mode and tore Diddy up on the internet, claiming that Diddy's act bad lifestyle is leading their son down the wrong path. Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul. Shea P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. Now, Misa went into full mama bear mode and tore Diddy up on the internet claiming that Diddy's act bad Liffy is leading their son down the wrong path. In a dramatic turn of events, Misa Hilton, Diddy's ex-girlfriend and mother of his sons, has taken to social media to unleash a torrent of fury over the recent federal raid on the hip-hop mobile residence, sharing never-before-seen security footage of the raid. Hilton castigated the actions of Homeland Security, particularly lambasting their treatment of Diddy's sons Justin and Christian. Some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots we do. Have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information in the exclusive footage. Heavily armed personnel swarmed through the mansion branching weapons and handcuffing occupants, including the young Combs brothers. Hill minced no words as she decried the excessive force employed vehemently stating the overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons Justin and Christian is deplorable her impassioned message resonated with a resounding call for justice igniting a firestorm of controversy surrounding the raid enough is enough declared Helton igniting a rallying cry against what she perceived as racial bias and brutality she questioned the need for such aggression, highlighting the disparity in treatment based on race. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. She asserted she asserted shedding light on the underlying issues of systemic injustice. But the outrage didn't stop there. Heaton vowed to take legal action, enlisting the aid of legal counsel to investigate what she deemed unnecessary force. My son's attorney, Jeffrey Olin, is investigating the excessive use of force which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. She proclaimed signaling her unwavering determination to seek justice for her sons as the controversy swirls leaked footage from the raid, paints a grim picture of the aftermath drawers, ransacked documents, stone about in safes, forcibly opened all remnants of the federal operation that left Diddy's mansion in disarray. With tensions running high and accusations flying the saga surrounding Diddy's home raid, has thrust the spotlight onto issues of racial injustice and excessive force, sparking a fervent debate that shows no signs of abating Sandra. This is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing. And it involves, yes, P. Diddy, the home is actually registered to Bad Boy Films, which is amid the fur Hilton pulls no punches, as she squarely blames Diddy for the traumatic ordeal her sons endured, she accuses the hip-hop icon of being complicit in their suffering, vowing to hold him accountable for his role in the debacle. Let's delve deeper into the tangled web of accusations surrounding Diddy and his son Justin Combs. It all started with a lawsuit from Diddy's former producer Lil Rod, who dropped bombshell accusations against Diddy, Justin, and others. Among a slew of shocking claims, Rod alleged that Justin and cohorts were involved in recruiting sex workers and underage women for parties hosted by Diddy Us. Says that he um had his son bring girls over to the parties, usually underage girls. It's a scandalous accusation that rocked the entertainment world. To its core, Justin Sess's representative swiftly fired back vehemently, denying all allegations as absurd lies. But the drama didn't end there. The lawsuit also implicated Diddy in unwanted sexual advances and coercion, painting a damning portrait of the hip-hop moguls. Alleged misconduct, moreover, another lawsuit alleged that Diddy and his son were embroiled in a shooting incident at a recording studio, further tarnishing their reputations. While Diddy's attorney vehemently refuted these claims as baseless specter of scandal continues to haunt the comms family. So there's that part. And then, when you're talking about Diddy, you have all the other stuff that we've been hearing for years plus. 
But where does Misa Hilton fit into this unfolding saga of accusations and legal battles? Her social media rant following Justin's arrest suggests a simmering resentment towards Diddy hinting at deeper familial tensions bubbling beneath the surface in her cryptic posts. She alludes to a fractured relationship with Diddy expressing regret over past decisions and casting his characters on his character. His mind was like always on a thousand like always, and it's good in a lot of ways. But then you know it's always a price to pay. I don't care what you do with emotions, running high in tempers, flaring Helton's words, paint a picture of a mother's. Anguish and frustration grappling with the fallout of her son's legal troubles. But what lies beneath the surface of this public spectacle? Is there more to the story than meets the eye to understand the depth of Misa Hilton's tumultuous relationship with Diddy One must delve into their turbulent past, a tale of love betrayal, and enduring animosity you know. We were very young, our lives changed just like that, quickly once romantically entwined Hilton, and Diddy's relationship was marred by allegations of abuse and mistreatment insiders, whisper tales of a volatile union, where Diddy's temper flared in fists, blue leaving Hilton battered and bruised both physically and emotionally. Well, 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 hey, tell us that story, I mean, if you want to. But I that didn't make the book that didn't make the book, yeah. Yeah, she was dealing with that dude that she's a despite the facade of glitz and glamour their relationship was fraught with tension with Helton, bearing the brunt of Diddy's wrath. Many speculate that beneath the veneer of success lay a toxic dynamic, where power and control eclipse love, and respect Keaton's social media tirades against Diddy serve as a window into a world of simmering resentment and unresolved grievances, a testament to the scars that linger long after the wounds have healed. But it's not just past wounds that few Hilton's a. It's also her unwavering conviction that Diddy is a detrimental influence on their sons, from Justin's recent Dewey arrest to past incidents of violence and controversy. Hilton sees Diddy's shadow looming large over their children's lives. Misa claims she's not protecting Diddy anymore. She didn't go into detail on what she meant, but she vowed to protect all of Diddy's children from his karma. In her scathing rebukes, she lays bare her fears and frustrations. Lamenting the toll that Diddy's lifestyle has taken on their family, her reaction to Justin's arrest for drunk driving is a pointy reminder of the pain and disappointment that she has endured in a series of since-deleted Instagram posts. Tan unleashed a barrage of criticism aimed squarely at Diddy, his business ventures, and even her son's alma mater. With each word word, she peels back the layers of resentment, exposing the raw nerve of a mother's heartache. I'm not protecting anyone anymore, just my son and all the children. I love a come to Jesus's moment. She declares her words dripping with defiance and determination her scathing critique of Diddy's reality TV ventures and musical endeavors underscores her disdain for what she perceives as a downward spiral into mediocrity with a mix of scorn and sadness. She reflects on the man she once knew and the legacy he now tarnishes. But amidst the chaos and controversy, Hilton remains steadfast her resolve to shield her son from the storm brewing around him with a mother's love as her guiding light. She navigates the treacherous waters of fame and fortune, determined to protect her child from the pitfalls that ensnare so many as Justin languishes in the aftermath of his arrest, Pelton's words serve as a rallying cry for accountability and introspection in her quest for justice. She refuses to back down, confronting the demons of her past and the specter of her son's future with unwavering courage that clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. But as the dust settles and the echoes of her social media outburst fade, into the other, one question lingers in the air. Will did heed her warnings and mend the fractured bonds of their family? Or is this the beginning of the end for a dynasty built on fame, fortune, and the ghosts of a trouble past? As the saga surrounding Diddy's empire unfolds, the walls seem to be closing in on the hip-hop mogul. What started as a torrent of accusations and legal battles 
has now escalated into a full-blown crisis, with Diddy at the center of a storm of controversy and scandal. With each each passing day, the mounting evidence against him threatens to unravel the carefully constructed facade of success and invincibility that he has maintained for decades. It really did open the floodgates, as you said, because it detailed almost two decades of hidden coercion. But perhaps the most damning revelation to emerge from the wreckage of Diddy's empire is the possibility of criminal charges under the RICO Act. Short for the Racketeer, Influenced, and Corrupt Organizations Act RICO is a federal law designed to combat organized crime by targeting individuals involved in criminal enterprises. And if rumors are to be believed that he could be facing serious prison time under the statute insiders, familiar with the investigation have hinted at the possibility of Diddy being charged under RICO, citing his alleged involvement in a wide